Good morning. So this morning, I'm doing a little bit of driving, killing some time before I meet up with Jay, man, and we're going to do some shooting. We're going to film some property and some work that he's doing. He's around the Shadowwood Lake area, and I'm killing some time just exploring out in this area. I'll give you some views out here. It's beautiful. This is in the area, a lot of nice houses that are all white fenced out like this and a lot of country land out here and to the left and right of me here is a lake see out there people have their own little docks and they can load their boats and look at all this isn't that beautiful it's a nice beautiful area here wonder if there's any fish in there. It'd be a nice place to do some fishing or jet skiing or just chilling on, isn't it? And then check this out over here. There's even a tennis court. You could play some doubles or go have at it at that backstop. Even a little basketball hoop. Pretty neat. Just something I found out here while driving out in the Shadow Lake area here this DJI charger it is a good way to keep this drone battery charged while on the go I'm glad that I purchased it I got one battery charge I'm gonna get another one from the back trunk here and I like to have at least one battery charged for my flights that way I can be prepared and have multiple batteries for getting more footage in case I need it He's got me going out to shoot this property here, and he's going to be doing a job. Monday, he says there's another property, another job that I could briefly stop by and do the shoot for also. Let's see how that goes. Let's see, this one's got about two bars of battery on here. I'll fill this one up while I'm killing my McDonald's out here, middle of Jefferson. Back at it. Another work day. The challenge of this slushy machine, it's still not freezing up. This new one, yes, the new one that I got. Well, it's not really new, but you know, new to me. And I'm back at Mikasa. It's nice to be home after a long day of work. Getting hungry though. We stopped by Kroger's earlier and we picked up some Texas steak. The steak here, the marbling on there, it's just so nice. You have to see what I'm talking about to really believe it here. Let me flip my camera around here, give you a view of what this looks like. Look at that. That is a delicious piece of steak there. Put some little herbs on there. You see all this white marbling on the side? That is juiciness. Very good. Well, that wasn't good. We just had a whole bunch of smoke steaming from this because we had, I don't know, maybe it was the mushrooms inside of there, but yeah, it didn't look good. That alarm, the smoke detector alarm was going off. Look at this burnt paper down here. I thought air fryers don't burn up stuff, but at least the steaks came out good. These look amazing. Can't wait to devour this. What? We still have hash browns from the other day. Hmm. I'm hungry. You know, kickstarting the day today really early at 6 a.m. I'm more surprised that I still have the energy and I'm not just like groggy right now. I did take a nap earlier in the day, but I like the habit of waking up early and doing things and being more productive. It feels like I have more of a sense of accomplishment. I set a good tone for myself during the day when I'm waking up early and my wife hates it. She wants to sleep in another room or like get a two bedroom house because I'm up so early. Speaking of kickstarting the day early. I got this package of some coffee called Biohazard Coffee. 
This is the world's strongest coffee. Right now it is 11.10 on a Thursday. So I'm not gonna drink this coffee right now because I'll be up forever. I am gonna go and drink that tomorrow, but as of right now, it's time to kill this steak. I'm glad it's aired out now. My eyes aren't feeling like they're watering and burning up. Rosa, let's eat. Let's eat some delicious Texas cow steak. I know it. I think it's because she put like the paper, like the cooking paper inside of that air fryer that the house was just up in smoke. There it is, the Texas steak. I think cows in Texas have less stress because they're not caged up in a small confined space. They have a lot of free space to roam around on and so maybe that's why they're just so delicious looking mm. the outside layer is real crisp and the inside layer is real tender and soft Cilantro. Mm. Wife over there eating a nice steak over there too. You like it? Mm. Mm. It's a little bit good. She's always in the habit of eating late at night. Time to cut the rest of this steak up. You know, there's two thoughts. Some people think that it's bad to eat late at night because your digestion doesn't you know, really develop to push that food down. And then other people think that it's okay. It doesn't matter. I've always thought that it is bad to eat late at night because you don't digest stuff good. But I also feel sleepy after a big meal, so I don't think that I'll have a hard time going to sleep. I had to heat this up a little bit, get the meat more a little bit tender. But you know, who wants to be like 50 years old with a big old gut and everything? I hope I don't get a big old gut. My father had a skinny physique like me when he was my age. And then as he got older and older, I just kept seeing his gut coming out and out. But it doesn't seem like it's only my father. It seems like it's all men that are in like their middle age. They got a gut that comes out here and maybe it's a beer belly. It is a brand new day. We are off to go and try this new coffee place. I called in the order. And we're gonna go see about what their breakfast sandwiches and also their coffees taste like. It's a nice cool morning. It's 73 degrees out here. I think the fall weather is finally here. Thank goodness for that. So it's been about, what, since Tuesday, so three days since this coffee place has opened up and we're about to pull in here in about a hundred feet they put a nice red balloon guy waving at us on the right side over there and from the looks of it there's already one two three four cars that are just waiting in the drive through line so it looks like they're still constantly busy and then over here in the parking line there's only like a couple cars one or two cars there so I think we'll have time to go in and just pick up our food before we head to work we got about 20 minutes here
Nice. Ailey. Hey. Ooh, it's the croissants. Mm, yeah. And cakes. Croissant and coffee? That would be good too, huh? Like that. You hungry? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I made it kind of like. Uh, uh, uh. That's it. Stagecoach. So it is a brand new day. Gonna go and get this Friday business kick started. I think we're gonna be plenty busy today with a delivery coming and with people kickstarting their weekend. Got the Americana. Got my nice bag here. And one breakfast sandwich. Whoa, that's good presentation. Looks very nice. Wow. They put some sauce off to the side of it. It's a croissant bread, a cheese, ham. An egg. Let's see what it's like. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. That is tasty. Mmm. The coffee is smooth. It's not bitter like McDonald's coffee for sure. Hmm. I like that. And I'm back at home. What a productive day. We went and worked all day. It's Friday. The liquor store is definitely a weekend business. You're in the store, people are looking forward to the weekend, they're buying their bottles, they're celebrating, they don't have to go to work on Saturday, so they're not worried about being hung over the next day. Lots of partying going on tonight. We're gonna relax and get another productive day in tomorrow. I'm at the process of training another girl, so trying to make sure that she's learning the system, the most important part of running the business. 